Hey guys, this is Jake Bull, the Habitat Pro. We are in northern Michigan, and this is very common in the area. An extreme, almost monoculture of alder swamp. And anybody could find the deer trail and buck rubs and everything here, but how do you get a buck to turn where you want them to and increase your odds just a little bit to walk past a high percentage area? Well, what we do a quite a bit here at Habitat Pro is what I call micro limited resource management. So you find an area where you need to turn deer or bring them the next 25 to 30 yards before another limited resource. And if it is different in that particular micro climate of your habitat, you can pull bucks in one direction or another. So. You can see here, he might want to go along that way. It's a trail that's often used. But this way, we had more ash. But what I found, just 15 yards up from where he has to make his decision, is I found this ash with a grapevine right next to it. And it was already tangled up, so I just pulled it down, got rid of it for a minute, and then did a couple of hinge cuts and trained it down into this because we don't have any on the property. You'll see in a minute where he's going. And then what we also found was in these alder swamps, it's usually clumpy and it's usually tough for him to get antlers wrapped around these alders. So. They're nice and soft, they're fragrant. So what we did was we trimmed out several, but this was the most important limited resource in the area. A white pine right here that has been stripped up for many, many years. And we had another one right over there that I took away to make this one more valuable. And then I moved him up past this small stand of birch which they like to rub on sometimes cleared him out a few more lanes right around here so he could move around these alders and rub whatever he wanted gave him a little bit of an anger zone and then I moved him past almost the only aspen or poplar on the property that is at a height where he can use it as a licking branch and this is where he wants to exit anyways so all I had to do is connect the dots, give him several desirable things to increase my odds. And then what we're gonna do out here is, we're gonna station a few doe families within that by killing the grass and letting the, um, probably with a burn, maybe even some disking, we'll let the successional growth come up once we get the grasses out of the way. And then we'll have our clean trail coming from the swamp edge right over to here, scent free, with a ground blind tucked into the scrub back there that is backdropped into the alders. And only hunt this when a cell camera says it's time. So he will only have to go about this far to duck into cover again, which will be four foot high weeds with food inside it and does. And that's where he gets to go on the way back in for the evening. This is Jake Lula, Habitat Pro. We are in Northern Michigan. Now is a great time to get out and enjoy your woods, guys.